What is something that you could say or that we could say in, let's say, on a first date, uh, on a networking event or at an interview, that one thing or one sentence that we could say could that, you know, could help us connect with more people that could leave a more memorable connection? Yeah, um, I like to approach people verbally with what I call the like radar. So um, there is something called the similarity attraction effect, which is basically that we, I, you know, we don't like to admit it, but we like people who are similar to us, mm. similar in all kinds of ways, favorite color, favorite food, similar values. We just like people who are like us. Um, we even like dogs who look like us. So um, we are always look on the lookout for who's like me, who's like me, who's like me. That's kind of what we're doing when we're at networking events and we're on dates. And so what I do is I actually verbally approach people with this like radar in mind where I am actually trying to find how are we alike. Mm. So when I'm asking questions, I'm not actually asking the like, ones we hear the boring, what do you do, where are you from, you? How's the weather, mm. right? Like, because it's hard to find like from that. What I'll often try to do is figure out what's similar. So um, you know, did they watch the game last night? Um, do they also know the host from how I know the host? Right, which is a very mm. different kind of question for how do you know the host? Um, what do they think of the red wine? I love red wine, right? Like, so I'm actually on the hunt for I am similar to you because I know that A, that's authentic, right? I'm looking for things that are, are genuinely there. B, I want to like them more. And so the more things I find that are like me, I like them. And B, I want them to like me more. And so if I show that we're similar, we do that. And so all of my questions are typically oriented in that um, framework and that makes you incredibly memorable. Interesting. So for in this case where, you know, we, we, might, we might not be in person, I'm going to put you in the spot a little bit here. And sure. you were the person that uh, was, let's say, first met. What are mm -hmm. some of the questions that you would ask? And I love the way you, you framed it. It's questions. It's not, you're not trying to put something out there to impress anyone. It's actually yeah. a question. It's actually, you know, you're giving something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like in a, in a typical scenario, oftentimes I will ask, um, so what personal passion projects are you working on? Mm. Um, I, I'm passionate about a lot of things and I'm just very curious. And so typically they, I've, I think maybe like a handful of times has someone mentioned something that I genuinely don't want to know about. Um, most things, even if it's something that is, isn't the same as me, I can still find something to ask about it. I think Someone said recently, um, oh, I, I build miniature houses. And I was like, wow. wow. I, you know, I, I, I'm not a builder and I'm not super into miniatures, but I think that's really interesting. And so I was able to be like, wow, like where do you find inspiration for the houses that you build? Like mm. are they templates? And she's like, Pinterest. And I was like, I love Pinterest. <laughs> right? right. And then, a commonality. Like, I see. Right. We had the commonality there and then we were able to talk about how she finds things on right. Pinterest and how that works. And so um, that's like a really, that's sort of my go-to question. And um, you learn so much about people very quickly when you ask that question. Uh, that's a really good point, actually. And I love, I love that question. You, you nailed it. It's, it, what are your passion projects? I, that's the question I would have loved to have been asked. 